Check your state laws and facility policy to make sure you are permitted to perform this procedure. Before applying a dry, non-sterile dressing, check the care plan or the nurse's instructions. Note any restrictions or special considerations. Before you begin, practice hand hygiene. Identify the patient and make sure that privacy has been provided. Follow all additional instructions in the preparation section of this program. Hi, my name's Marcy. I'm going to be your nurse's assistant today. I'm going to check your identification. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth? It's Monica Turner, 102561. Okay. Miss Turner, I'm going to get my supplies. I'm going to change your abdominal dressing this morning. Okay. To apply a dry, non-sterile dressing, first arrange your work area so you don't have to reach over it or turn your back on it. Then lower the bed rail near you if it's up and help the person into a comfortable position. Cover her with a bath blanket and fan fold the top linens to the foot of the bed. Now expose the affected body part. Make a cuff on the plastic bag and place it within reach. Next, perform hand hygiene. Put on personal protective equipment as needed and put on gloves. Then remove the tape or undo the Montgomery ties. To remove the tape, hold the person's skin down and gently pull the tape toward the wound. To open Montgomery ties, undo them and fold them away from the wound. If adhesive remains on the skin, wet a 4x4 gauze dressing with adhesive remover and clean the adhesive away from the wound. Next, remove the gauze dressings, starting with the top one and removing each layer. Be sure to keep the soiled side away from the person's sight and put the dressings in the plastic bag. Don't let them touch the outside of the bag. When you reach the dressing over the wound, remove it very gently. If it sticks to the wound or drain site, moisten the dressing with saline solution. Once the last dressing has been removed, observe the wound drain site, and wound drainage. Then remove your gloves, put them in the bag, and practice hand hygiene. Put on clean gloves, then prepare your supplies. Then clean the wound with saline solution or other cleaning solution as directed by the nurse. For example, you may start at the wound and stroke out to the surrounding skin using new gauze for each stroke. Or you may clean the wound from top to bottom, starting at the wound and then cleaning surrounding areas. Again, use new gauze for each stroke. Cut the lengths of tape that you'll need. Next, apply dressings as directed by the nurse and tape the dressings in place. Or secure them with Montgomery ties. When the dressings have been secured, remove your gloves and put them in the bag. Discard used supplies in the bag, tie it closed, and discard it according to agency policy. Also, remove and discard your personal protective equipment and practice hand hygiene. Finally, cover the person and remove the bath blanket. After applying a dry, non-sterile dressing, perform post-procedure care. For example, report and record your observations, such as what you used to dress the wound and secure the dressing, and if the wound was red or swollen. For detailed information, see the section on follow-up care, reporting, and recording in this program.